A little yeah. different than what we've been doing lately. So yeah, you, we did bodybuilding training together before. Yeah, so yeah. I thought it was time to try something different. <laughs> I love the way you train. I love the way it's a little bit of people ask me that kind of all the time. Like, you know, oh, what's, what's your training goals now? I'm like, I just like having fun. And that means trying new things. So here we are, trying some new stuff. Yeah, exactly. So it, it is, um, a lot of people ask me that as well. And I still do bodybuilding. People think, oh, he doesn't do bodybuilding training anymore. He just jumps around and throws nine kilo balls around. <laughs> Are you supposed to make any gains doing that? It's like, well, I mix it up, you know? Yeah. So it's, I'm the same. I don't compete. I don't do crossfit professionally. I don't do bodybuilding professionally. Yeah. Why am I restricted to just choosing one though? And sometimes I do some strength and conditioning. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just having fun. Today we're going to do a partner, partner work. Partner workouts are fun too, I feel like, because you can kind of push each other. I'm glad I'm not going to be competing against, but like, I don't want to also let him down. So it's going to be going hard. It's going to suck, but it's going to be fun. Yeah. So it, it's going to be like, you go, yep. you go, I go, which you've done before. Yep. Yeah, 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 you've done before. I've seen you do those before. We are going to start with 100 cal on the skier, 100 double unders, Ooh. 100 um, dumbbell snatches. So obviously it's alternating. 100 Dumb. death drops over bar. AK burpees. Ah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you wearing right now? A hundred and kilos of Ooh. just like Ooh. eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a yeah. lot of weight for burpees. Yeah. You know, yeah. you guys might not think, oh, I can do burpees. You're not 110 kg. So and as a, the I'm thing 100 is, right now. Yeah, if you, why I hate burpees so much is when you're tall like us, it's a long way down mm -hmm. and such a long way up. So a lot of people find burpees, they, they love, I, I don't know how many people love burpees, but, um, when you're heavy and when you're tall, it's 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 a it's a movement that just you got those what fourth. So we're gonna be pretty tired by yeah. the time we get there. So it is gonna look very slow. <laughs> <laughs> hundred wobbles, and then to finish will be a hundred uh, devil bike. I'm just picking all the fun things. Yeah, <laughs> and then we're gonna be doing after after ten as we discussed after ten cal. Um, when you get off, you're going to do some wall sits. This one, you, we can't start. So when you get off, you have to go to the wall, pick the ball up, sit, and then say go. Mm. So I can't start on the bike until you, so you need gotcha. to be quick. I'm telling you that, but I'm telling me that as well, because I'm very slow sometimes. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Wall sits with 60 kilos. That's, um, that's it. That's all we're doing. Yeah. This was the last workout I'm doing in London. And, uh, it's gonna be great to get on that flight tomorrow. Just, I'm sure it's gonna be brutal. 12 hours, I'm gonna get up. I'm definitely gonna be sore after doing this workout and then sitting on a plane. Gotta work my mobility, right? There you go. In the yeah. airport. <laughs> Along the, on the, just get up and just start doing some mobs on the plane. There we go. <laughs> they wanna join in, why not? <laughs> this, this looks rough, this looks spicy. It's one of those things that's very personal. I yeah, I, I always, um, if I, if I leave them, I, I just can't. Plus, the first time I learned how to double under was with a weighted rope, same brand. Nice. Yeah, so um, I use a weighted rope to learn to do double unders. And it actually helps because with the weighted ropes, the, the rope actually turns more mm -hmm. than when you use a speed rope. I mean, obviously, if you want to go for speed, then you need a lighter handle. But with weighted ropes, it, it's... Those 100 uh, double unders. Is where I'm gonna start. I think it's, I can't let the frustration set in. I just gotta do what, 20 at a time we're doing? Yeah. We can get through that fairly fast if it's not, if I'm not too tired. 20 double unders, I can do that. The bar over burpees is what I'm <laughs> really not excited about. Third, the wall balls will be tough too. This is what we're shooting for. This is 30 minutes just moving. And it's pretty good that we got, we got some, we got a lot of legs, we got shoulders, we got back, more shoulders to the double under and legs, and then. The wall sits with a devil bike. So, like any good CrossFit workout, some posterior chain in there. Yeah, here we go. It wasn't set on calories. <laughs>
Uh, my legs. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. I hate my life. Oh. I love my life. Oh. oh, I made an angel. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you guys don't think I sweat a lot. I sweat. So, so my breakfast slowly starting to come up. Oh, really? If he froze up, that'll be good. So we're hoping he froze up. I've just thrown up from one, <laughs> one workout in my life. <laughs> Thank you for carrying me. Well done. He's, Obi just put me on my back. So I'm taking you to the promised land. Oh! That was a brutal session, thanks to this man right here. We did a little partner workout, we filmed it. I'm That's dead. not it, we're, we're going again. Oh, we're going to get another yeah, round of that? <laughs> the wall balls, yeah. you just power through those. So for me, it was just, I think that's the nice thing when if you train, it doesn't matter if it's bodybuilding or CrossFit, you yeah. train with somebody who's better than you or, or stronger than you, and you're gonna improve so much, so thank yeah, you. Yeah, it. it's, it's, honestly, it's more because you want to help each other out. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, right, I might as well do more because I'm more experienced. And then that motivated you actually to yeah. even do more. Yeah. So, but then if you weren't here, when I was tired, I would have probably slowed down yeah. a bit. So it's good to have someone else to kind of bounce off of, you know, set, you know, energy as well. It doesn't matter what level you are. Right. It just helps out someone else. If you weren't here, I'd still be in there doing burpees because I would have done burpees, like yeah. one. Wait, yeah. one. <laughs> I'd still be doing that workout if it wasn't a partner <laughs> workout. I, I think one of the things that impresses me most, and I was going to ask you, like, so since you since you went from just bodybuilding mm -hmm. to doing both bodybuilding and CrossFit, uh, just from a physique standpoint, do you feel like is, has it been easier to maintain a physique, harder to maintain a physique? Do you feel like you're leaner year round? Like, what are some of I guess the pros and cons with the way you're training? Uh, the pros is definitely being leader yeah. year round and not really worrying about it. Not even thinking, yeah. Um, just because of the conditioning stuff. I yeah. do so much. Honestly, I've never done so much conditioning in my life. Yeah. I actually have to now do like things like 5K runs. I hate running, yeah. but I do them. 2K plus rowing. Yeah. I hate them, but I do them. Woo! Um, those are saucy things. Yeah. You know, some For a big guy, those... Like it's it's that's not easy. Exactly, and then add that to the functionality yeah. and the mobility of doing Olympic lifting style workouts. Um, I don't do heavy ollie lifting. Yeah. I just do, I would say moderate Olympic lifting. Gotcha. But I still do snatches. I still do cleans. More about the form. Jerks. Yeah. Um, in terms of maintaining my physique, I haven't honestly. I stopped worrying about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, it's, it and when you stop weird. worrying about it, though, it's almost like it just takes care of itself. Yeah, exactly. Like when you're when you're so consumed with the macros you're eating and the you know like yeah. I, I feel like it, like when you concentrate on the workouts, kind of the rest takes care of itself. Yeah. I, I made maybe it was a mistake. I don't know. I made the mistake of saying um, elite CrossFitters look better year round than fitness industry mm. people. When I say fitness industry people, I was talking about people that. That compete in physique shows. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. And I and I still stand by that. Uh, if you look at now, you know these guys aren't training for mm -hmm. aesthetics. Like mm -hmm. they're not training um, for proper necessarily ratios. Mm -hmm. But you look at the CrossFit Games, and there's some impressive physiques Absolutely. in there, yeah. and they're yeah. that all year round. So yeah, I would say for like for you, have you been able to maintain your like what was your weight? I guess like what oh, you weigh 110 well, to, now. Yeah, I used to bulk, so I used yeah. to go. I've been up to 112, 13. Okay. And I was just, yeah. You know, and now you're 110. Uh, yeah. That's I, I mean, mean that's that's I've been indulging, so I shouldn't really be. <laughs> <laughs> I've just come back from a holiday, but um, because I stopped worrying about it, yeah. I think it put that that pressure was gone. Uh -huh. um, I stopped looking in the mirror and going, oh my! I still sometimes do. My shoulders need to be bigger. Uh, my abs could be like my stomach could be smaller slightly. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like my chest too big because that's what I used to do a lot. Yep. Um, I would see all the bad things and it was just so unhealthy. And now it's more how long, how quick did I do that? Yeah. Um, I was supposed to do 80 kilo cleans 10 times as an imam or whatever. I didn't do that. My rowing sucked. Yep. My performance was terrible. And the mindset's changed. You're completely. striving for you're striving for different goals yeah and in that striving for those things i i find that i'm a lot happier with how i look Absolutely. because again you're not obsessing about every tiny little detail sometimes yeah. when you become hyper obsessed with something 
um, you become kind of a perfectionist and almost mm. unhappy. And you just kind of almost take that that focus and change it from just completely about your looks to, okay, these are objective goals that I need to be hitting mm -hmm. and you're making progress on the rowing on everything that's, that's yeah absolutely I mean I the thing is a lot of people always go well you wouldn't look like this if you only just crossfit and then I say well my friend Zach George is an absolute beast and he's just he doesn't do any body work. right he's as big as both of us well he's yeah. slightly smaller but he's six he's almost six foot I think but he's he's, he's been in on my YouTube yeah. channel yeah. he's a beast yeah but he's massive and then you're, are you gonna go and tell him yeah. that he wouldn't look that big if, because he only did, you know, he doesn't do any form of bodybuilding. Really? But the thing people forget is CrossFit have accessory work, which is right. bodybuilding movements. Good CrossFitters still do things like single arm dumbbell press. Yes, exactly. And they're, and they're still doing like, but they don't need, you know, you, you look at a gymnast, Gymnasts don't train arms, yeah. but they have amazing biceps yeah, yeah. because there's so much work that is being done in, in, in obviously hanging from rings. Yeah. Um, and I, so I think like you can get away with it in, in CrossFit and there's this almost this dense, very mature, someone who's done CrossFit for years, mm. I notice they have this very dense muscle. It's yeah, like yeah. It, it comes from lifting heavy, mm. being explosive, those type yeah. two muscle fibers which have more of a capacity to grow anyways, those are the ones that a lot of times we're training in there um, and they and they get bigger, quicker. So there's, I think there's a lot of awesome physiques out there. Now again, if you judge like an onstage bodybuilder who's dieted for 12 weeks, yeah, who's 4%, like if that's your cup of tea, you know, cross, you, you don't want to be that lean and be a CrossFitter, but hanging out at that seven, 8% body fat, even six, there's some CrossFitters out there that I know are 6% um, and, and still, like that year round and training hard and focusing on the training. So for me, um, you know, I gotta, I gotta heal my back up a little bit, but it's fun for me to train like this. Mm. And I, I noticed that, it, you know, on the road, I think it's easier to, to come in and just hit an insanely hard session, mm. worry less about what I'm eating than, oh, I'm gonna go train arms and then I'm gonna watch my calories yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah. So. But then, like, like I said, there's nothing wrong with mixing it up. Yeah, no, you know, it's, yep. it, I, I, like I said, it's not either or, yeah. you know, why not add a bit of conditioning to your workouts? It. Why not enjoy both yeah. both sides? Have you gotten any uh, kind of pushback from the CrossFit side? Like, oh, this guy's just a bodybuilder in here trying um, to... No, honestly, no, they they are so welcoming. Yeah. Um, because it, for them, it's it's almost intriguing seeing yeah. someone my size trying yeah. to do CrossFit. <laughs> and I'm not necessarily the, that good, but it's just the fact that I'm making an effort you're um, humble. You're, yeah, I mean, they, they encourage that. They're like, oh, it's really cool to see you actually trying, yeah. you know. And I'm lucky that a lot of CrossFitters have welcomed me, and I get, I've got a lot of CrossFit following. And um, sometimes it's still weird for me because I went to a the CrossFit event, and some of them were coming up to me, and I was like, you know, I'm not really that good, but <laughs> thank you for following me. I appreciate. It's that, impressive, though. You know? It's impressive to see someone your size moving correctly. Yeah. That you know quickly, and then. Obviously, the way you look mm. initially to people is like, like, whoa, yeah. this, this guy's, again, 110 kg at 7% body fat, 6% yeah. body fat. People are like, For me, it's okay. like, why why can't you be a big guy and still move well? Yeah, that's true. Why why do you, why can't you be able to still do the body weight stuff and then still go and hit the gym yeah. and still look aesthetic? Yeah. You know, so that's... That's why for me, when I did the whole break the mold thing, it was just by accident because I was talking about it and I just said break the mold. Yeah. And a lot of people ask me, well, why is that? And I was like, because there's, there's something really cool about being different and trying something different. Mm -hmm. So like when people see me, they don't expect, when you come onto my Instagram page, you're like, he's doing double unders and burpees. What's that? <laughs> Where's the bench press? Where's the- But you're doing you know, it with a 50 inch chest <laughs> and with 20 inch arms. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, you know, that, that's what I think people are just like, whoa, this guy's got it all. Yeah, you know, so, and then they see the mobility stuff. It's like, oh, and yeah. then, you know, they see me do pistol squats, but then another, I'll post an arm workout. Yeah. It's, well. Everything. Yeah, so why why can you not try and do something like that? You know, and I know people want to, if you want to get big and, you know, of course, yeah, you need to do the bodybuilding yep. stuff, but there's nothing stopping you from adding other th elements into your training. Yeah. And that's kind of what I'm trying to, put out there because I don't compete yeah. I don't do this for competitions I'm not doing this for CrossFit I'm competitions or yeah. bodybuilding I love training I love fitness yeah and it shows too 
Yeah. Like that, that you you have a passion, and I think it's 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 something that people pick up on, and then it gives them this. Okay, if he's doing it and, and looks that way and is performing and is working hard, I want to do that. So it's been an inspiration, definitely for me to like, oh, you know what, this, you know, I, I want to try something new. It's it's a good thing, and you know, like Ross Edgeley, we mm. have you met Ross yeah, before? Yeah, I've, I've never, I've actually, yeah, years ago, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. See, yeah. He's another guy that I love the way he thinks. He just yeah. thinks out of, like, a, why out not? Of the box. Why not? Yeah. Kind of like. Like just because you know someone hasn't tried that, just because there there hasn't been someone that really loves bodybuilding and CrossFit until yeah. you know like until I started following you. I think my business partner Jake has done a good job too of, of, of doing both. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's one of those things that I think it gives other people this like, okay, yeah, he's doing it, I can do it, and I think that's where a lot of value lies. Is yeah. when people like you know it's any any plans to ever do anything like a triathlon. Like, would that ever the be? The thing is, it's like, you never know. Yeah. Like, I've already th talked about, like, Iron Man and all that. Jeez. Things like that. Just just yeah. trying it. I've been on, been on like, the boat, you know, like a professional, um, I can't I don't know what the name is. Yeah. Because one of my friends, a rower. Okay. For, yeah. for GB. Gotcha. And that was something, I, I went on the boat, I was like, I want to do this. That's dope. So that's something else that I really want. I just want to try as many things in terms of fitness. I love that. That I can. Breaking the mold. Awesome, yeah. I love it. So, uh, we're going to link all of Obi's social media before and it's on the screen right now but uh, follow this man it's one of those things that I love following Obi one of the most impressive physiques out there but it's about what he does with the functional lifts with the CrossFit that's even more impressive so uh, it's kind of dope so what are they yo? I have no idea <laughs> but anyhow definitely check him out give get outside your comfort, comfort zone. zone it's easy to go into the gym every day and, and do what all you've always done. But if you do that, um, if, if, if you just stick with what you're comfortable with, you're never gonna progress like you should. So I definitely was out of my comfort zone today. Thank you. That's awesome. You're welcome. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for the headband too. No, you're welcome. Break, Break the, the mold. mold. Break the mold.